Okay. It was my favorite because it was my best, my favorite piece. I'm going to make you say, hey, I owe you. Because, baby, we going to do what lovers do. I'm going to take my precious time on this view. This ain't no fairy tale, all your dreams coming true. When you say them vows, girl. That was one of my best, like, art. that was like the first R&B song I, I, I consider I did. You know, that was, you know, it was on a good level. What's up, man? This is Suave here from Rosedale, Mississippi, man. I'm an R&B artist straight from the Delta, man. You tuned in with the debut. This episode of The Debut is sponsored by Unheard, a platform for artists to showcase their talents. Book your live music performance today. Basically, the simple fact that I love music. Love music. Love music. Can't get it out of my head. I can't dodge it. You feel me? I can't. I just can't get it out of my head. So I love music, man. That's what I got to do. I guess that's what I'm here for. You know? What type of music did you listen to when you were growing up? R&B, mostly. Some some uh, seductive, some sexy, you know. I don't know if I can cuss on you, but yeah, yeah. sexy, you feel me? R and B. I listen to Tupac, of course, Fifty Cent, you know, all the all the OGs of the nineties for real, for real. Do you want to be for real? What inspired you to make music? Like, what inspired you to make your first track? Really, just hearing how others feel when they listen to music, how I feel. You know, it just open, opens me up, man. It, it, it just had me thinking. It had me in another place. And I, I just like to have people feeling like that. You feel me? I would just want to be the one to have people feeling how I feel. Or knowing what I go through. Or knowing what I do. You feel me? Or getting my side. And they, I just found out that you can express yourself through music. Uh, the process of making the music. Man, I really don't have a process. It's like... Man, if I, I can sit down, and sometimes I have writer's block. Everybody know about that. Like, you, it's like you just give up. You're like, you don't even want to write no more. I just get in, and I, I start out with the beat. I just listen to the beat for about 24 hours. Probably listen to the beat 24 hours. Maybe not that long. If I'm really feeling it, I get right to, right to it. So after I do that, I listen to the beat, get in tune with the beat. Know the beat. Uh, whatever I'm feeling, I write it. I ain't going to make nothing specific. Whatever I'm feeling, whatever the beat singing to me, I'm going to write it. And then after that, I find out, I get in the studio. Feel me? I go on recording, I get in the studio. I record it on my phone first. <laughs> I get I get it right for me first, and then I go to the studio. That's what I'm saying. So how do you how do you deal with writer block? Like how do you come out of that? that I learned. Uh, I deal with writer block. I, I kind of dealing with writer's block is kind of it's crazy, cause writer's block is just more than writer's block. Sometimes as an artist, you you kind of writer's block really will make you give up. Because it's writer's block not just one day, two days, three days, four days. Sometimes writer's block can be a month. Sometimes years or so. Years or so. You feel me? And it'll kind of make you give up. So writer's block, I'm not a fan of it because it, you know, it makes me kind of, you know, sway, it sways me in different directions that I don't like. What's your favorite piece of uh, music that you've written so far? Favorite piece of music. Okay. Just if you can single out one song. Okay. <clears throat> Okay, it was my favorite because it was my best, my favorite piece. I'm gonna make you say, hey, I owe you. Cause baby, we gonna do what lovers do. I'm gonna take my precious time on this view. This ain't no fairy tale, all your dreams coming true. When you say them vows, girl. That was one of my best, like, art. that was like the first R&B song I, I, I consider I did. You know, that was, you know, it was on a good level. So, you know, and I had my guy Jody Taylor, Jody Two Times, my bad, Jody Two Times. He was the feature on there, man. We rocked that. I had a cool, I had a cool with it. Yeah, I appreciate that. <laughs> <laughs> appreciate that, guy. So, who's on your uh, your team? Like, who do you filter your music through? Who do you? Okay, I filter my music through um, 
first of all, I feel filtered the music through my gla- my guys, Glow Legends. Um, starting with Colo Dodo, Colo Dolo, RKG Savage. That's the uh, that's his, that's what he go by on social media most of the time. But his real name is uh, Colo Dolo. When you're looking for him on the music pre- platform, uh, Jody Two Times, um, Weirdo the Dunn, um, my K Wheel DJ K Wheel. I always gotta let him listen to something. You know, he uh he we finna go to his freak nigga right now and get a little freak, you feel? Oh, so yeah, yeah, we finna be T, you feel? I already got that dude saying my system, but that's about it, man. I don't really share with too many people, so What's your biggest obstacle in life so far? Or what was your biggest biggest obstacle in life? My biggest obstacle. Um getting in tune with myself, knowing me, knowing why I'm here, knowing my purpose. I'm in the process of overcoming, you know, myself, because that's my biggest threat, myself. The point in my life when I realized it just a couple of months ago, just a couple of months ago, I realized. Oh, uh, the turning point, the turning point was really, um, is that, you know, I was going through so much inside myself. I was fighting myself, and I wanted to realize, you know, I wanted to feel meet like me again you know i was going through so much you know just life i just wanted to feel like me again the turning point is i just i'm feeling better now as we speak like i've been feeling better for the last i say about four three months for three or four months um yeah that's been the turning point that's it yeah so what what motivates you to keep going what motivates me to keep going is my family first of all my family well, first of all, of course, God. I shouldn't have to say that. Right. But, you know, uh, my guys, because my guys keep me motivated. They keep me in tune. They gonna, whatever I got, if it's whack, they're going to say, well, little bro, that, that ain't that ain't where we need to be going. You feel me? We got to keep it there. But they're going to listen to whatever. They're going to listen to all, you know, they're going to help me, you know, with, with everything I need to be helped with just like now, you know. Just like I'm, I'm, I'm here with my guy Jody two times now. Like, he coming just to support me. And the, the, you know, support is the biggest thing. Best song out of the whole world. If you just pick one, like if I your, just pick one, like your theme song for you, my theme song for me. <laughs> Trey song just gotta make. Look, that me and my guy favorite song for real, for real. Like we listen to that all the time. Me and Jody, me and Jody ride down the highway. I'm talking about striking out, bro. We just ain't gonna say nothing. Man. We just ride. Just we'll play that joint like three, four times. Just, it's crazy. Ooh. Top five. I just, I think I just, mm, wait. I say Michael Jackson. A lot of people disrespect my guy, but that's my guy. R. Kelly. Obviously, you know Yes, yes, of course. Uh, uh, of course, Tupac. Well, I got like a different top five list. It's depending on how I'm feeling. So, it's like it's like maybe eight eight of them, but you know I mix them in with the top five. Okay, so we got R. Kelly, we got uh, what I say? We got R. Kelly, Tupac, Tupac of Michael, course, Michael, Michael Jackson. That's first. Uh, uh, cause you know how I feel. I, I I deal with Chris Brown a lot. Chris Brown, I put Chris Brown in there. Yeah, I put Chris Brown in there. Uh, and uh, who will? I'm gonna slide a new one in there. Lil Baby, he can replace somebody old. Yeah, he be snapping. Respect. Right up. Describing my childhood, how I grew up, and you know, what consists in what made me. Um, my, my, my parents, you know, don't too many of us that come from the hood really just have both parents in the household. I had both parents in my household, so I got you know, I had, I had a, like a, a ups on most of the kids. You feel me? So my, my childhood wasn't bad. It wasn't, it wasn't bad at all. I got what I wanted. I kind of was full. You feel me? But I also, you know, was tuned into the streets too. You know, because we in the hood and you know how they go. You tuned into the streets. And um, I'd have been through a lot of situations. You know, God saved me out of a lot of situations. I probably been in jail and dead. You feel me? So I just really... I, what makes me when, when, when it's crazy I don't think about my life my life story like that because it just so much happened 
it's like I can't pinpoint everything. I just know that I'm, yeah, yeah, man. I just know that I'm blessed, and I just know that I'm blessed, and God and got me out of a lot of situations, so I give him that. And that's why I won't stop doing what I'm doing. Yeah. Have you have you ever performed before? Yeah. How was that first your very first performance? Was you nervous? Was you shy? Oh, my very first performance. Um, it's crazy. I wasn't nervous because I was up there with five guys. So, uh, I had a scholarship at Kahoma. <laughs> I had a scholarship at Kahoma. Okay. And uh, before you went to that, what was your okay. scholarship for? Um, uh, it was choir. Oh my okay. bad. Yeah, okay. it was choir. Uh, my first performance was. It, it was it was exciting, you know. We was at a bar, we was doing a we was like a barbershop quartet, you know. Sit that and we hum and all that. So I kind of had uh, you know more energy, more energy than what I would have had along yeah. with me. So that that's what made me. I, I wasn't nervous. I'm just put it like that. I wasn't nervous. I'm more happy. So, so since you were in the choir, I mean, you you're used to like performing in front of like large crowds and stuff like that too, right? Yeah, to yeah. Certain, to a certain like extent, more. yeah. I say the most I ever performed. Like, like, whew. it's probably been over like two hundred people. Two hundred, I say two hundred. That's that's the max. Two hundred, yeah. So aside from music, what other talents do you have? Aside from music, what other talents? Yeah, yeah, well, people don't know about. Well, well uh, first of all, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> first of all, but like my guy said, track, track, and uh, you know I'm an athlete. You okay. know we all athletes. We okay. we come from the hood. Most of us are are athletes. I'm gonna put it like that. Um. Other things that I'm good at, I'm good at uh, tracking uh, fake motherfuckers. I'm good at that. Discernment. Yeah, I'm a surgeon. I'm a Scorpio, so you know, I'm a Scorpio. So, so I'm in tune. I'm I'm very in tune with people. So that that's the gift, you know, of gab that I have. And I don't have too many. I got singing. I can uh, you know, kind of play chess with life. I can do that and. I don't have too many, and, and I'm my athlete. I can do whatever. I can pretty much do whatever. That's about it. So you can't draw? No, nah, I can't draw at all. I can't even write. I don't know why. I, <laughs> <laughs> man, I, can't, I, I write in cursive, man. I just, you know. <laughs> yeah, you can get that paper, man. You can see it real quick. I'm going to walk away. I don't even want to sit there and see your face. So, uh, are you into fashion at all? Because I, I see your Crazy thing, man. I ain't really into fashion like that. That's so crazy. You, who, who you? You just go to the store and just whatever. Yeah, I just I got taste, but I'm not into it. Okay, so okay. it's crazy. I ain't. I'm not really into fashion now. My guy Jody, nah. Uh -oh. That's the guy. That's where you want to go to. You feel me? <laughs> he in the fashion. You feel me? real talk. But I just got a little taste, a little swag. I just know what I like. So yeah, that's a little I, taste. Little taste. I ain't finna spend, I ain't spend, finna spend 10, 15 minutes up in no spot. I'm getting mine and I'm gone. I ain't even finna be up there long. Yeah, I'm quick, quick. <laughs> and after that, I'm sitting down. I'm ready to eat. What's uh, what's next for you in life? What are your, what are your goals? My goals in life, man, is to make uh, a dynasty. Okay. Make a legacy, you know. Carry their name. I want, I want my name to carry for six generations, six, seven, eight, nine, ten generations. I want all my. I don't want to be forgotten. Right. I don't want to be forgotten. So I'm gonna do whatever it takes to carry that you name ever, for mine. You ever heard the saying, "You die twice, once yes. when they bury you in the grave, and then the yes. second was the yes. last time." You yeah. Yes, I, I've heard that saying, "You die twice." Of, and then the crazy thing about it, how I look at it when they say that, like you die twice, and. Correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, I think that saying like is is way deeper. It's more of yeah, it's a yeah, it's more of it's more of like like how I feel. I feel like I'm a wise soul. Yeah, like I really feel like that. Like I just been here and I'm 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 here to lead. I'm here to guide. Right. I'm here to help. I'm here to show you that you can do more with what you got. You can do more with anything. Oh. Okay, you can find me uh Facebook first. You can find me Suave Hill, S U A V E H I L L, Suave Hill on Facebook. Um, Instagram, Suave the Artiste, A R T I E S T, Suave the Artiste. You can find me on uh the Snap if you want to, Suave Hill underscore twenty two. Um, check out my YouTube, Suave Hill, everything Suave Hill. So I'm keeping it simple for you, so you won't have to go through nothing to find me, man. 
Apple Music, bro. Glow Legends. Uh, check out Glow Legends on Apple Music. G L O L E G E N D Z. Glow Legends. Check that out, man. We got more than sixty songs. So don't say we ain't been making no music. If you if you know it, don't say we haven't been making no music. No, you have been listening to our music. Well, uh, you know, TikTok is Nah, man, I ain't got to. I ain't. I got to get in tune with that, man. I got to get in tune. I got to get in tune with TikTok, man. My guy be trying to put me on. For sure, for sure. I got an account, but I ain't putting none on. Okay. okay. Yeah, I have that's, an account. That's a star. Right? And I don't even know the name to it. It's probably some Suave Hill. I know that. That's a star. That's a star. That's a star. That's a star. All right, my name is Suave Hill, man, from Rosedale, Mississippi, man. Check me out, man. You rocking with the debut.